Hi everybody, this is Mike Penn from the South Pole. I got a great question from a student today, and he was asking me to basically prove that I was at the South Pole, and to explain why the South Pole gets 24 hours of daylight. And luckily, we're really close to the winter solstice, which is just in a couple of days. So, my math worked out pretty good. See if you can follow along. Okay, so to prove this, I went outside, and by the way, it was about 10 below with a negative 35 wind chill. I stuck a pole in the ground, and I measured the height of the pole. Then I measured the length of the shadow that the pole uh, was casting from the sun's light. The top of the pole to the end of the shadow will be the hypotenuse of that triangle. That's important because we know the opposite and adjacent angles for the math we're about to do. Okay, so here's the Earth. Here's the tilt of the Earth or the Earth's axis and it's tilted at 23 and a half degrees. That makes this the North Pole, this the South Pole. 23 and a half degrees off of the axis line gives us the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle. So, this is the Earth's tilt, the axis. I am on that spot right there, the exact geographic South Pole. If I stick my pole in the snow right there like I did, that makes the pole, when I measured it, was 89 inches, and the shadow was 206. So, we extrapolate that here, it's this angle, this triangle is this triangle. So to do the math, we need to take the inverse tangent of the opposite angle. So here we have the angle we need to find. So we take 89 divided by 206. That gives us 43.20388. You take the inverse tangent of that and you get 23.36 degrees. That's almost exactly 23.5 degrees. But why isn't it exactly 23.5 degrees? Well, the answer is it would be if it was December 22nd, which is the winter solstice. But we're a couple days short of that. In fact, we're about 14 hundredths of a degree off. Does that make sense?